and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to clean a bridle, which I know there's a lot of different ways to do it, but I'll just be showing you how I do it usually. So um, yeah, please take this opportunity to like and subscribe and let's go. If I'm just doing a quick clean, then I'll just like hang it on a hook down at the bottom and just like do it over it, like just maybe before a show or something. But right now, I'm doing a thorough clean, so I'm gonna start by taking it apart. And the way I like usually keep track of the pieces is sort of put it in a pile next to me, like um, in, in a, you know, fashion which allows me to remember like in order. But this bridle is really old, so like, it doesn't like have two clips on either side, it's just like one clip on this side, some of them have two like, so it's a little different. Put that there in a nice pile. And we'll undo it. We've got it all taken apart. So now we're gonna head over to the sink so we can wash this bit, which is really dirty from Clover Slobber. So let's go. bit out here to dry with the rest of the dishes <laughs> and he's just sitting here which looks a little funny like tell me you're a horse person without telling me you're a horse person right there <laughs> all right now we're just going to um take put some of this cleaner on here and then a little kinky bit sometimes this stuff comes out fast and sometimes i literally have to like squish it out of squish it out so there we go we got some all over our fingers all right and if you are watching this for like a proper it, it just occurred to me that like people might actually be looking for how to clean their tack so you know just bear with me if you're looking for like a, a proper tutorial but yeah, you just wanna like try to basically cover everywhere. But if the other side of it is like suede, like this one, then like not suede, but like raw leather, then you like kind of don't really wanna get that if you can avoid it. So yeah, and then just do that with pretty much everywhere. So, all these hunks of leather right here somehow come together as a bridle. We cleaned every bit of the bridle and the bit is dry since it's clean. Uh, why would I clean the bit? I feel like it's not weird if the bit is clean because I just like thoroughly scrubbed it. So like it was in her mouth. Honestly to be fair I would probably put it in my mouth if it was in her mouth. I mean like oh that's to be and uh, she does some weird stuff, I don't know. Like she, she, she eats off the ground. Like, uh, I don't know, I mean, food is food. I don't know. Anyway, I kinda wanna try to put my bridle together blindfolded. What do you guys think? I think I'm gonna try it. Once again, if you are here for, for like a proper tutorial, as I said before, then you know. I feel like anyone who owns a bridle probably knows how to put it back together, sort of. But again, if it's your first time taking your bridle apart, I would recommend like doing like one piece at a time instead of just going like, wee. So, yeah. And again, this one is a little different. So I feel like if I do, like like this piece is one, a lot of them have a separate, instead of like a cheek piece, it's just this. So like, I feel like if I do show you how to put it back together, I'll just confuse you more. Anywho, I think I'm gonna try to do it blindfolded. So I'm gonna go get my unicorn blindfold. Here it is, my ridiculous unicorn blindfold. I'm not sure if this has made an appearance on the channel before or not. But anywho, I'm gonna put it on and try to put my bridal light together and you guys get to watch me struggle. I think I'm gonna put the camera back up here, so you should have to trust me that I have my blindfold on, wherever you guys are. Um, let's go. This might take a while, but if you can see my face, I am blindfolded, crossed. Okay, so here's a cheek piece. Here's a, what's this? 
Okay, so this is the thing that connects, like, I don't think I'm under it anymore. Like the, I think this is the throat latch, maybe? Maybe not? I'm gonna try to feel around and see what's happening. Okay, I think I'm gonna start by taking the bit. Here's the bit. And then, like, I don't know. And then I'm gonna take a cheek piece and attach it on. Wait, it goes out. Is this hanging right? I don't know. I'm definitely gonna have to redo some of my work. If this ends up being too long, then I might need to edit some of it out. But I don't know. I hope that's right. It's probably right. Anyway, does it go in or out? I seem to have done. Oh, is it going in and out? Oh, this is so. I can't even get this.
blindfolded work? Like, I'm feeling good. I mean, like, this is twisted, but, like, that's okay. And then, like, we have this, which is, like, totally good. And, like, this is where it gets a little funky. Like, this is twisted, and then I put the reins on the wrong side. So, like, I'm just going to be riding backwards, I guess. But you know what? I think it's pretty good. Now I'm just going to uh, fix it. As always, thank you for watching. I think the bar looks a lot cleaner now, and it was fun putting it together blindfolded. I did it once before, but that was with like a lot simpler bridle, and I had assistance. That was like at pony camp. So yeah, and I have a feeling I, oops, I just fell over. I have a feeling I didn't really actually do much of it when I was little. Someone definitely helped me. So um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching.